That's coming soon in a few hours. And we stopped by, we're gonna go on a golf cart ride. So I just wanted, I can't turn this, to give you another tour. Oh, and there's a TV up here. And this, we're in the master bedroom. And then we have a bathroom in, in here. Okay, just quick to her. Hi, Debbie. And then another bedroom in here. Yeah, it is. It is, huh? Oh. Okay. So now we have it set up differently today because we have four crafters coming and so many have asked, what's it look like for four crafters? There's our little fun ladies there. You can move the thing with, the, with your thumb. I know. So now the living room is squished up. But it's a little living room. we just had four people here wanted the four tables set up for crafting and they said the living room was just fine. We're still waiting on new end tables. There's a chair there, a swivel chair. Swivel, swivel. That phone that's over there charging won't be there. Yeah, <laughs> Alex is charging his phone. And now the TV is playing rain. So now we also have the Maker 3 and the Explorer 3 here. And the Maker and the Joy and all the other stuff. I'm not gonna go through all the craft supplies. We've done that before. But I'll let you see them real fast. And then we're gonna get ready to go on you can look under the table. There's more. The Empress thing? is oh, it's way down at the bottom there. I was like, wait a minute, it was on a different shelf. And then on the other side of this wall are mats. <laughs> that one has a wrinkled thing. How do four people sleep? They share a bed. Yeah. <laughs> they know ahead of time before they rent it. There's only two beds, queen size beds. Do I turn all the lights off? Yep. I guess that's sounds of the ocean now from the TV. And then the outside, we don't have all the furniture. Some of it's covered because of rain. We don't want it to get wet. Oh, we're not going out the front, are we? Um, you can go out that way. Okay, he's going through the garage. There's a washer and dryer in the garage. So here's the lanai. There's my golf cart. They get a green golf cart for four people. table. We had to get a new umbrella. We pick up that paper. Here's the other golf cart. This one has a cricket on it. Here's my golf cart. I ironed on my name on it with iron on from Cricut. It's a glitter iron on. Okay. We're gonna go on a ride. That beeping is me shutting the garage door. Yeah. From my phone. And it was raining earlier, so there is some water 
some yeah. dots on them. The window's not so clean. I want to get the driveway painted, but it's been rainy here. Did you like the front? Yes. going to go to So you could go that way or you could go straight. I just no, thought of that. If you go that way it takes longer. Okay. So if you're renting our house, we're gonna show you how to get to Lake Sumter Landing, which is not the closest um, square. But it's the one we like the best. It's just a little bit further. See, if you go to that one, you have to go like under the road and then come up and then come yeah. down. Here, you just wait for the light. So we're gonna, this is the only traffic light that we're really allowed to, or the only street that we can cross is right here. Other than like the ones over at Morse. No, there's no traffic light. Yeah, there's two on Morris. From the golf cart? There's a golf cart is to the right. But if you're in the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get what you mean. So he's going to turn right, right here onto the golf cart trail. Yeah, make sure you turn on the golf cart path because you cannot go on the roads. That is the village of Santiago. If you're going to the pool, you would go straight there through that village. And if anybody has any questions on the villages or anything else, you can ask. We have 74 people watching only 29 thumbs up. better now we closed our window <laughs> right down here this is a little window that opens see if I went the other way I would come up here yeah much better okay thanks guys please let us know if there's any problems like that This is the Savannah Rec Center. It's one of the regional rec centers. Hi, Donna in Ireland. Now we're going to go under this road here. There's the Savannah Center again. It's um, inspired by the movie Gone with the Wind. All of the rec centers have a theme. theme. They're all really cool. Hi, Carol Dufresne. I know you love golf cart rides. Where is this located? So we are about an hour north of Orlando. Actually, the southern area of the villages is only 45 minutes north of Orlando. Maybe even a half hour. The villages is so big. It expands over 50 square feet. So 
<laughs> Over or 50 square feet. <laughs> 50 square miles. 50 square feet. Uh, how far do we live from the craft house? I, you live three miles. I live three miles. Alex lives at the craft house when nobody is there renting. If you rent it, he's not there. <laughs> Uh, three miles. So that's, is it 10 minutes by car? Yeah, roughly. About 15 minutes by golf cart? Yeah. I don't think quite that long though. I've made it faster, but that's just me. No, that's not far at all. That's, that's me driving, not how everybody else drives on the golf cart. That's a little bitty. I know, it's that, been there That's for a like long tiny. Time. It's like a toy. <laughs> it's like one step up from the playground. There <laughs> is a pool probably three to five minutes away from the craft house. There's also 90 pools <laughs> in the villages that you can swim in. As long as you have a guest ID. Yes, yeah, so you have to have a guest ID. And some of the pools uh, are only adult pools and you have to be 30. Hi, Janine in Australia. She's out on an early morning, 6.30 a.m. walk. Oh, wow. Go to Lake Sumter Landing. Oh, we were gonna try that Japanese restaurant. Yeah. Japanese. That looks like a Jeep. Uh, there's a Japanese restaurant at Lake Sumter we've never been to. Do we come and help like at the craft house? No. If there's a problem, we can come and uh, see if there's something if there's something wrong with the house or something's not working but I have lots of videos that you can um, learn from she sees a deer in the reflection of the cart window well you probably see me <laughs> and my hand maybe I do not teach classes. I do that all online, so they're available for everybody for free. So now we're passing Polo Ridge. We passed the golf cart or the polo fields on the left. Now we're gonna turn left here under this tunnel. So we're crossing the street again. go up here honk for Sheila yeah we should have honked nobody was in it this is another rec center this one has lots of sports it has lots of tennis lots of pickleball has horseshoes and all kinds of things and golf what's the name of this one Saga Brunch or Saga Bunch or something like that. And this golf course, a lot of the time, some of the clubs will come play, uh, I forgot what they call it, but it's like neon golf, night golf. And they have neon and fluorescent lights and stuff. Everything's lit up all fun. This is the Tunnel of Trees.
it is so pretty here that's why we live here glow golf yeah I think that's what they call it Have 104 wonderful people watching. Forty-two thumbs up. Going under another tunnel. Ah! <laughs> he scared me. He said honk. Honk for Sheila. Now off to the right is the Laurel Manor Rec Center that we have our um, cricket club. It's back behind us now. So now we're gonna turn right here at this roundabout. Yes, the crafting getaway is in the villages. Do the golf cart. And it includes a golf cart. A four-seater. A four-seater golf cart. I will come show you how to use it. Yeah, Alex will come show you how to use the golf cart. He also made a video on how to use it. window it's not as pretty another tunnel <laughs> Carol Dufresne says the best part of the video is how to back up so we're turning left here for the Buena Vista path is this right I thought you turned right why would I turn right Oh, I know where we're at. No, nope, you're right. Because I go the wrong way. Yep, we're coming up on tall trees. And then the next one after that is my mother's village where she lives. No, the crafting house was never my house. The crafting house is a house I bought just to rent out. I want to make sure that everyone knows it didn't start out as a crafting house. I was buying it for an investment to rent out just to people to rent in the villages. The villages is a major vacation for tons of people and people looking to retire. They come and rent houses here or just come and stay for the entire winter. You, anyone buying a house in the villages would never have a problem renting it out. That's why I did it. And then I thought, oh, I could bring all my extra craft supplies. It was a group, we were talking, was, I was involved in this choice as well. What? Because I, I said, uh, uh, never mind, I can't say it, but it was kind of a... Uh, Oh, what? I was a part of making like the idea of it being a craft house. Oh, okay. It wasn't just your idea. Okay. I said something that brought it up. Our, I don't remember. I, don't, I, do. I okay. remember where we were and everything. <laughs> we have questions. Okay, so is there an age limit to the craft house? Yes. There's not an age limit to rent in the villages, but there 
is in my house just because I don't want little kids there. They could grab some tools and it could be dangerous with the crafting and markers. I don't want markers on my wall. So I do have an age limit. I think it's 12 is what I say. How many people does the craft house accommodate? Four. Well, that's up to you. <laughs> well, it, it will go up to four. There are only two queen beds and only one bathroom. So my mom lives in Bonnie Brook. We just passed the entrance for that. We went underneath it, under the tunnel. How many villages are there in the villages? I, I don't know. That I think there's over a hundred. It's huge. Would you know how far it is to Port St. Lucie? Uh, it's about three hours, maybe three and a half. going to take left at this tunnel. Lots of tunnels. Yes. Yeah, if you type rent into the chat, it gives you a link to rent out the house. I forgot I did that. Are we back yet? We're back. Okay. If you type in rent in the live chat, it will give you a link. Thank you, Jamie, for that. Look at how beautiful this is. And that's the Arnold Palmer Country Club. There are, I think, 12 country clubs. And if you live in the villages, you are a member to all the country clubs. Doesn't cost any extra. But anybody can come eat at the restaurants. I think they were a Michigan State fan. I think so. <laughs> yes, it's about time I've gotten out. This is my first golf cart ride since May, and it's September. I used to go on them every week couple times a week but um, we've been busy getting cards ready for tomorrow's class today and we got that finished we have a I haven't shared it yet I took a little video of my card it's an inter oh it is an interactive card I put it under shaped cards maybe I should put it under interactive yeah. Oh, no, I didn't put it under shaped cards. That was the cards from Saturday. <laughs> I didn't put it on the, on the page yet. So, uh, what happened? I got busy. Bye, Donna. Um, so tomorrow we're doing a falling embellishment card where you pull a little ribbon and embellishments fall down into the card. The closest airport, the closest major airport is Orlando MCO. It's about an hour away. And yeah. If you're at an airport that has Allegiant Airlines, Sanford is your next best bet. Yeah, there is a Sanford airport. the beach about an hour and a half depends on which beach you want to go to yeah uh oh traffic jam thank 
you, Donna. Yes, we're gonna go to dinner. That's good. in with traffic now there is a waterfront hotel right there there's a restaurant in there oh yeah we haven't been to that restaurant either it's called the millions i want to go there but they're not open till wednesday and back here is a barnes and noble a real big one On the right is the Chop House, very fancy, expensive restaurant. Japanese steakhouse. steakhouse. We're gonna try it. We haven't been there. But we're gonna drive around the square. What time is it? I have no idea. You should be able to pull down on your phone and see it. So. I don't want to mess anything up. They'll tell me. Movie theater. Johnny Rockets. The bait shop is it's 455 for me. There's a restaurant bar there. Bait shop sells drinks. And they're pretty cheap and they have a happy hour. There's a Starbucks over here. Tesla. Oh, and a Tesla. And the biggest Panera restaurant is right here, that round building. And they're getting ready to set up for music. There's three squares right now in the villages where they all have live music from five to nine every single night unless weather there's bad weather. It doesn't close very often for bad weather. Look at the golf cart, slow down. You see, it's a, it's a fire truck. And there's Lake Sumter back there. haagen -Dazs. There's another bait shack. Oh, and this ice cream place right there. It's a store. It's with a ice store. Cream. That sells the best ice cream. You want to get in the right lane. I know. I was just looking. And they, it's a fun store. Look at that golf cart. So it looks like another fire truck almost. It is Labor Day. Oh, so we're gonna park right here. That's a cute little cart. Yeah. I've never seen one like that. I haven't either. Oh. It looks little. I think it's electric. It looks real small. Okay, guys. You're the wine for the movie theater. What day is it? It's Monday? Come on. Halloween? There's a new Halloween movie. I don't know. Adam's family too. All right, guys, we're going to say goodbye. Toodles. Thanks for joining us. And I'll see you tomorrow. How is the COVID situation in the villages? I don't really know. I don't watch the news. I haven't heard anything. Most of the people here are vaccinated. Yeah, most everyone here is vaccinated. Toodles. Bye. How do I hit it? The X? Bye.